Hey, what's going on? This is Chip with WebVideoChefs.com. I want to show you a real life scenario. So I was, I'm recording a video blog uh, about a project I'm doing and uh, I put some background music in. If you don't know how to put background music on a video on Final Cut Pro uh, 10, that'll be another tutorial for you. But anyway, wanted to put some background music in and then I said, wait a second. See a Baltimore right there that you see. It's way too loud. So I figured that I want to keyframe audio or put it down. And, you know, I did this in Final Cut 7. I used to just hit the P tool. And when I come down here, I don't see a P tool anymore. That's a position tool. I don't want a position tool. So, oh boy. So what do we do? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go down here. We're going to change our, trick, our clip property. So change the appearance of the clips in the timeline. And I'm going to make a clip appearance on the display and window. Make it larger. Make my clip larger. A little bit so you see the waveforms a little bit uh, better once I do that I'm gonna move my timeline out a little bit more uh, okay there we go we'll move it out a little bit more here all right got it the way I want it okay so I see the waveforms and I see right here a keyframe is here already but what I want to do is I'm gonna go down here or I'm gonna hit the R tool and that's a range selection tool this is one way to do it once you hit the range selection tool you can group a range okay and then when you group ranges you can move it down and see when you move down it takes the tail end and the beginning end of a keyframe out all right so when i come up let's see when i'm talking hey what's going on i am so excited i was there and then automatically it's going to go down Part of mount Vernon, and i'm on day but say if i don't want it to go tails and end. that's just the easy way to do it so um a lot of times i like to keyframe my own stuff and you may want to do that uh as well so what i'm going to do is take this i'm gonna hit a to go back to the arrow tool then i'm just going to click on uh this right here this keyframe and i'll hit delete i'll click on this keyframe and i'll hit delete then i'm going to click on this one as well and uh, i'll hit delete so we get back to the same way or i could just you know is it not and it's not really good so what i'm going to do now is hit the option key or alt that you have on your mac and i'm going to hit that then i'm going to do a keyframe there then i may want to do another one there and then i could bring it way down the way i wanted to bring down when i start so when i start my little thing Hey, what's going on? I am so excited to be here. I'm at the university. Of so I don't like that. That's too much. I want it to be a maybe two, maybe 20. I usually like it 21 dB. So let's listen. I am so excited to be here. I'm at the University of Baltimore, right downtown in the heart. Okay. So if I want to put another keyframe there, so I'll hit option. Remember the pen tool in Final Cut Pro, you just hit P and you hit a keyframe. Here, I'm just hitting that right here I'm just hitting an option and click option and click then I want to fade it out real nicely option and click option and click fade it down and then I just take that fade it down then take this fade it down and I go from there alright so that's how you do it or if I want to do a cross fade that way just do it like that so uh, that's how you fade it with option key and in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you want to delete one of these keyframes, you just click on it and you hit the delete key. So that's all. Stay tuned for more tutorials and tricks and tips right here on Web Video Chefs. See you soon.